The only reason I would take this would be if it provoked attacks of opportunity. And uh, then it, it would be interesting and fun to use sometimes. Flavors there too, right? If you're a swarm druid, yeah. if you're a your warlock doing the great pestilence kind of stuff, I could see it. Like uh, plague bringer of Nurgle from 40k or whatever. That is something I could see. Yeah, I mean it's got meaning with this, but I don't want flavor that's not going to do anything for me. Hello, friends. Robert Fevin here, author of the Caverns and Creatures series of comedy fantasy novels and short stories with me as Sam West. And today we're talking about the spell Infestation. <laughs> Covered in bugs. Yeah, gross. I conceptually love this fantasy. This cantrip speaks to me on a deep level. It's so close to being good. Yes. It's just not. So <laughs> there are a lot of little things. That I'm like, man, that could have just been a little bit longer. That could have been a little bit higher. That could have been a little bit more consistent. And it's... Ooh, it's something. Okay, so this is a <laughs> Conjuration cantrip out of Xanathar's for Druid, Sorcerer, Warlock, Wizard. Cast time to the actions range is 30 feet. It requires a living flea as its material component, and it requires verbal somatic as well. So you have to have a living flea somewhere, which I think is hilarious, because that's impossible to keep track of. Well, you got, you got um, to have a little tiny jar. Yeah, what happens when he dies, and you're like, I cast infestation, nothing happens because your flea's dead. Well, you can have a, a bunch of fleas in that jar. Okay, you know, eventually they'll all die, but until yeah. then. Or you just like, you know, you're a druid and you just keep them alive forever. Anyway, you're that's just not important. A, a dirty person. That could be it too. I like yeah. that so much more specifically as like not a druid. Like I like the idea that the wizard just has fleas and thus can cast infestation. <laughs> that's really silly looking. Or, or the warlock. Was that one invocation where he's covered in bugs? Oh yeah, that warlock feels very fitting for this. Yeah. Let's be honest with ourselves. So anyway... You cause a cloud of mites, fleas, and other parasites to appear momentarily on one creature you can see within range. Target must makes a con save or takes a d6 poison damage and must move five feet in a random direction. If it can move its speed, if its speed is at least five feet. If it can move and its speed is five feet. Okay. Roll a d4 for the direction, one north, two south, three east, four west. Move, it doesn't provoke opportunity attacks. And the direction rolled is blocked, the target doesn't move. Damage decreased by d6 at 5th, 11th, and 17th level, like you'd expect it to. So, 30-foot range, D6 damage, con save, or move somewhere? Sometimes? No opportunity attacks? Yeah, that's good. Mean, no. The the opportunity attacks are what I want this for. Yeah. And the fact that it's already such a high variance to make it happen at all means I'm like, they this would not be busted if it let the fighter get a free shot in, right? right. If anything, it would be cool because there'd be like a tag team kind of going on there, right? The, bar the paladin's fighting somebody, you infestation, and they run away and the paladin goes, oh yeah, he's got fleas, get him. <laughs> Them being able to like tactically, di tactically, tactic blah, blah, blah. disengage tact tactic fully. That's not a word. What word am I looking for? Tactically. That's the yes, word I'm okay, looking for. I, kept, I tried to jam a full in there. Anyway, disengaging tactically while you're covered in bugs is not the fantasy of this at all right no like it's a huge miss in that department and, and the one thing i would want this to do is that and it doesn't do that so like it doesn't do anything then really yeah because right? i mean like this is uh forced movement in a random direction is not useful uh unless they're like standing on a a five foot wide platform like way up in the air then okay either way they go they're gonna fall Maybe they're, like, already in a spike growth, and this gets them to take yeah. for bonus damage, right? Like, maybe they're already in... This is... This can be forced movement in that way. They're in a damaging effect. You say that any movement in the damaging effect triggers it, that's good. Like, in a blade barrier or something. Right. How often is that going to be the case? Not often. Like, almost no. never. And the fact that if they're, like, outside the blade barrier or the wall of fire or the spike growth or whatever, this doesn't guarantee they move into it. In fact, it's very likely they don't, even right. if they fail, which makes kind of go... Uh, you don't even get to pick the direction like yeah this uh, uh there's so many ways this fails yeah 30 foot range is also very small for this kind of effect so like you would consider using this as a disengage tool but if they do like a slide to the left or a slide to the right they are still in range of making opportunity attacks against you if they're right in front of your face right so like yeah i mean it's almost worth casting it on an ally who needs to disengage yeah 
Uh, Je- it, that is a real Hail Mary you'll take sometimes. Be like, I need the Paladin to get out. Their Great Axe does 40, 12 plus 6 damage. Okay, you can take 2d6 damage here, buddy, and pray mm-hmm. this works. Infestation. That's not a good use case, for the record. No, but I mean, it's the best use case I can think of. It's not ideal. I mean, you could do a d8 all, damage. All you're doing be- is, you're doing d6 poison damage and no other useful effect. Yeah. Almost always. Yes. I also like this thing's range is too low. This thing's damage dice is too low. This thing's like every element of this could have been tweaked up and it, I'd still be pre lukewarm on it because the effect just isn't that interesting, right? Like right. if they would, if we're matching till chill touch in both range and damage, I'd still rate chill touch's abilities better or higher than this because I think they're like slightly on average going to be worth like, okay, you turn off healing when it really matters. This is usually doing nothing. This usually is scooting someone somewhere where they don't care to, that they move from, right? <laughs> like, if if you use this as a disengage tool, something's in your face, you go, great, infestation. The best case scenario, they move five feet back. You then get to go, okay, great, I run away from them. The net change there, assuming you have exactly 30 feet to run, best case scenario, assuming they, again, moved out of dis- move out of range so they can't re-engage you, is they now are out 35 feet away from you and can't reach you next turn. That's like the best possible case scenario when the stars align in the perfect white room environment. That environment doesn't even really exist. And that is already so unlikely to happen. It's like, I don't, I'm not seeing it. No. The only reason I would take this would be if it provoked attacks of opportunity. And uh, then it, it would be interesting and fun to use sometimes. Flavors there too, right? If you're a swarm druid, yeah. if you're a your warlock doing the great pestilence kind of stuff. I could see it like uh plague bringer of Nurgle from 40 K or whatever. That is something I could see. Yeah. I mean, it's got neat flavor, this. but I don't want flavor. That's not going to do anything for me. Yeah. It's really, really hard to sell me on a cantrip. That's doing half, not quite half, but almost like half the damage of a good cantrip, like a D 12 cantrip. I don't with no other upside and a lower range. I don't, I would rather reflavor my Toll the Dead to be bugs swarming at them, right? Sure, yeah. Like, they are more effective at eating things that are wounded. That kind of makes sense for big mm-hmm. evil bugs sticking into wounds and stuff like that. That that could work as a great flavor or reflavoring. Infestation doesn't need... Flavor alone can't carry a spell. Right. And um, flavor alone is trying to carry this one, and I don't think it's, I don't think it's working. Now, is a D6 damage or 30-foot range enough to give this a 2? Like, is that something enough? Is the random movement inside a thing? The answer is pro- yes, right? Like, this does get a 2. Moving um, someone in a spike grove, moving someone in a wall of fire is a mode this thing does have, right? It I does guess. something. Going by the very, very, very technical definition of okay. our standards. Would you rather have this on a sheet or true strike on a sheet? All right, that's not fair. I mean, that's, yeah, And that's what a that's, one deserves. There you go. We figured out the answer. It's not fair. Great. True strike's a one. This is a two. I guess. Uh, I'm, I'll give this a very reluctant two. Well, just because you hate it doesn't just because you no. hate it doesn't mean it's terrible. It is bad, but it's not like the worst in the Pelham game. Yeah, but I mean, the, it's damage alone, and other cantrips out damage it. So the the movement is inconsistent and usually worthless. Usually worthless <laughs> still right. gets a two. All right. So like, you're in a generous mood today. Again, am I a? <laughs> I just think you're in a particularly like disingenuous, just non generous mood, whatever the Perhaps. adjective for that is. Curmudgeonly. You're in a curmudgeon yes. today, Bob. Ah, uh, well. All right. That was uh, Infestation. Thank you, Sam. And thank you, everyone, for uh, joining us and watching. And uh, let us know your thoughts on Infestation. Were we too generous? Were we not generous enough? We uh, welcome your thoughts in the comment section below. Uh, like, subscribe. We'll see you next time. Goodbye.